Yes, well, last night we had an escape from the prison farm at Lotus Glen. A 41-year-old man, uh, whose image you have, uh, last night left the prison farm. Uh, now, he is believed to have left sometime between 9pm and 12 midnight last night. And uh, certainly he has um, left on foot initially. Now, after that, um, we're not really sure what has occurred, whether he has had any third-party assistance, which appears to be possible, because it is quite remote up at Lotus Glen. Um, now, in presently, investigators from Mariba, and uh, in conjunction with the Corrective Services Investigation Unit, are conducting an investigation with, with a view to uh, apprehending uh, him and uh, taking him back to custody. What was he at Lotus for? Uh, for? For a range of property offences uh, and an attempted robbery, he was serving a uh, four-year prison term, which for which he was sentenced only in March this year. He was due for parole in, um, well, for consideration of parole in March of next year. Was there any indication that he was unhappy or um, you know, causing any problems? No, no, there was that is there was no intelligence in the in this situation to suggest there was a problem. Uh, his family visited uh, yesterday. Is he harmful or violent? Oh, look, there's, there, he's has some back, uh, propensity for violence in his background. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Would you mind saying that again? Yeah, sorry. There, 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 there is some, some uh, violence in his, in his background. Uh, and um, certainly we'd be suggesting caution to anyone seeing him um, or rec recognising the image that uh, will be... Uh, broadcast. Is he a Cairns mm. man? He has been in Cairns for quite some time. Um, he moves around the state, but certainly um, for, the, for a number of years he has been in uh, in North Queensland, in the Cairns and Mariba area. If his family mm. visited him yesterday, is it possible that they sort of keyed something up for... Oh, well, look, that's obviously an avenue of investigation that we're, we're, we're pursuing. Um, to date, we can't um, say whether that is a possibility or not. So in the investigation, are you speaking to family, friends? And we will be speaking to family uh, and uh, other persons who um, have uh, had some historical association with, with him. So how was he discovered missing? Was there a head count? There's, there, there was a head count at 9, there was a head count at 12 p.m. last night. Now it was at the 12 p.m. head count that he was noted to be missing. And so is, that reported. is that concerning at all that... He's obviously a criminal that he's now been able to escape. Is that easy? Oh, well, look, the, the persons that are on the prison farm, they're assessed by corrective services, and um, and occasionally some of them do this. It's uh, it's unfortunate, but um, it's, it's, it's a normal part of the um, incarceration process. It's the slow um, reduction in the probably the security so of them. Sorry, is the prison farm separate from the prison itself? Are they in the same sort of grounds and, and they're housed in a low security? They're, they're within the general um, vicinity of each other, but um, they are separated by a little bit of distance, but uh, basically side by side in two adjoining properties is my understanding of the situation. Given the time now of how long he's been on foot, I guess, or on the loose, um, could he be as far as, say, you know, Rockhampton or further? Like, is there a oh, well, certainly he could be. It's, you know, he's at 13 hours now, so he could be, you know, almost at Brisbane if he was that efficient. You know. Are they looking you know. in any specific areas for him? Or they know oh, at, at, at the moment we're just presently concentrating our investigations in North Queensland. That's um, where we would start, where his family and associates are. Um, and we will find out the investigation on a needs basis as time goes on. So would you say he is a risk to the community? Oh, well, certainly he has in the past um, been violent during the course of um, committing crimes. So um, a person with that background certainly arguably has a propensity to commit such similar crimes in the future, particularly if, if they get desperate and um, they effectively, you know, be panic in, uh, in situations. Um, so, look, we, we would simply ask people if they do see him, to immediately advise police and um, we'll do our best to bring him back into custody without any difficulty. Would you want yeah. anyone to approach him? No, we wouldn't. We would simply ask them to make note of the situation, you know, what the 
you know, where the, where the person is, if he's in a with any vehicle, the details of the vehicles, and get back to us with that information. And for people who, um, you know, may have seen him or, you know, he does have some quite dis distinctive features in terms of tattoos and, and whatnot? He's quite significantly tattooed on the chest, um, but from the images I've seen, um, you wouldn't necessarily notice those if he was clothed, but certainly very extensively tattooed over the chest. Uh, pa apparently has some on, on his arms or with distinctive Oh, look, I'm not sure of the details of the tattoos on his arms, but I've seen an image of his tattoos on his chest and he's extensively tattooed. Would you be yeah. putting a specific yeah. warning out perhaps to people, um, you know, picking up uh, hitchhikers and things like that? Would that be one of maybe his, his oh, methods well, look, of getting away? Well, look, certainly it's a possibility. Um, we would generally warn people about picking up hitchhikers as some element of risk generally. But certainly if a anyone in the um, Tablelands area would be particularly cautious over the next couple of days. Has your statewide alert been issued or anything like oh, that? Oh, we have um, broadcast um, an alert statewide um, with, through, through, through the police service. Um, but at primarily at the moment, the pr primary investigation is focused here in North Queensland. And, Can you just uh, give us a general description of him for the, for the public to look out for? Oh, well, look, we've got an image of him. Um, I think he is a, a man of about um, 180 centimetres in that general build, um, slightly heavier um, in build, uh, you know, like a solid, a solid build rather than fat. Uh, he's dark haired and uh, he has hazel eyes. Normal complexion with brown hair. What was your last name, Oh, look, I have no idea. I assume it's a prison uniform. Um, yeah. Russell, you got any idea? Clothing, no. Oh, I, I would assume they just. They just, just that, yeah, they, I, I, I believe. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm not sure whether the guys at the prison farm, unfortunately. He's wearing a suit with a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I I would assume he's just using wearing standard um, clothing from 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 the prison. Um, I'm just not sure whether the guys at the farm can be more casual, but probably not. They would undoubtedly I would expect just be in standard. Would you be certain to say that he's definitely getting assistance then? Well, look, look, it's 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 difficult to say. Um, you would you would think it is likely um, that um, he is getting some sort of assistance from someone. Um, are we certain at this stage? No, but just the remote nature of um, where the prison is and the prison farm, it, it, it it's difficult. You know, unless you're hitchhiking, it it stand out. Would someone would notice. Would this have been quite an elaborate operation? I mean, how easy, although it is a, a low security, um, you know, facility, I do imagine it in, in regular terms would be quite high security. How hard would it have been to him, for him to escape? Not difficult at all. No, this is a prison farm, it's low security. Um, the, these these uh, correctional, correctional institutions really are based on the trust of the, of, of, of the persons who are there. They've um, built up a a record of good behaviour and uh, effectively they're on a trust basis on a slow introduction part of their release. Um, so no, it's not a complex or difficult matter, matter to get off that prison fund.